Hey everyone, what's going on and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Solar. I'm your host, David the Solar Pro. If you're new to the channel, we discuss all things solar and renewable, so please consider giving this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. In this video, we're going to discuss how much is solar and why you need a solar evaluation for your home. Welcome to the Let's Talk Solar podcast, broadcasting from Visual Horizon Media Studios in Houston, Texas, where we discuss all things solar and renewables, news, events, predictions, statistics, and equipment for those looking to make the transition to renewables, and exclusive real-life experts helping those in the business become more successful. Now, here's your host, David Rosa. The other night I was driving home from a late night appointment and I received a message. They say, hey, I would like some more information. So I sent them my phone number so that way we could set an appointment. They said, this is just a number. I would like some more information. So I sent them my video link of my installation from beginning to end so that way they could see the whole process, which is more information. He tells me this is just a video link. I want to know how much is solar. Obviously, that's the, the one thing that matters the most. And this is a discussion that I have multiple times a day. Now, I could have continued going through a long series of questions trying to explain to him what I need to know in order to determine how much is solar for him. And so with that, I came out with this video. I could be standing in a subdivision looking at the same block with 10 identical homes and not one of those homes will have the same usage. Now, one of those homes may have two working adults on a rotating shift, so there's someone at home. The second house may be two adults and two kids where their consumption increases later on in the day. The third house may be somebody who has a hobby of collecting fish and has multiple aquariums. The other person is a hunter and has multiple freezers. And so their consumption is all going to be different. The second thing is square footage of a home. Sometimes a homeowner would tell me, hey, my house is 1,500, 2,500, 3,500 square feet. How many panels do I need? The reason that's not as helpful is because I've been in homes that are a thousand square feet that average 3000 kilowatts a month or 3000 square foot homes that average a thousand kilowatts a month. It all depends on their consumption and lifestyle habits and the condition of their home and what they're looking to accomplish. Third, sometimes I have a homeowner that tells me, hey, I pay 100, 150, 200, $250 average. Now, the reason why that's not as helpful is because depending on their kilowatt rate, it changes how much energy they're consuming based on the dollar amount that they're telling me. So it's not as useful. Sometimes I have a homeowner that tells me I paid 9.5 cents a kilowatt because that was the advertised rate that they signed up on. Now, what they don't factor in is delivery fees, base fees, and any other fees that go along with the true cost of the kilowatt rate. So there's no base price with solar. I cannot tell somebody that solar is $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 because I'm correct, but I'm also incorrect. Now, depending on the installer that you're using, the type of equipment that you're using will play a huge role as well as the warranties that they're covering. Now, I've been in this business for a little bit over five years, so I have seen some newer companies that are more competitive because they're newer and have lower overhead than some of the more established companies. I have also had homeowners that ask me how much is the price per kilowatt. The reason why that's hard is because not everybody offers the same type of, again, equipment and warranties with their price per wattage. There's also other things that may be factored in in your price per wattage. So when you shop around and ask somebody, hey, how much is price per wattage? Again, it makes it difficult to answer those questions for you. So before you call around to different solar companies and ask them, hey, I need a price, please consider all of this. So after you make sure that your home qualifies to go solar and then you have a clear understanding of how solar is priced, then you're ready for the next step. Understanding your utility company's net metering rules because that plays a huge role on the size system that you're able to install on your home. Now here in Texas, majority of the state is deregulated. There is some areas that's regulated, so there's only one utility company that you're able to get your energy from. Here where I'm at in Houston, Texas is deregulated. There's one major utility company and we're able to have different rep companies. So in my situation, this utility company offers one for one on the solar buyback. There's other territories that also offer the avoided cost rate. Now what avoided cost means is that they're buying it from you at one price compared to what they're selling it to you. Some companies will give you a little bit less than what you purchase in it from them at the end of the month and that's okay. There's other companies that give you about a third of what you purchase from them. 
in their situation, they have it in real time. So the energy that you're producing that's overproduced is going back to them. They buy it at a third of what you're purchasing it from them at the end of the day. So that plays another role in the limitations of your system size. So you want to make sure you have understanding of your utility company's net metering rules. So that way you know what size system you're trying to accommodate for based on your solar savings. So with that being said, you know, in my experience, I have had homeowners that tell me, hey, I use about 2,500 kilowatts a month. And at first I told him, hey, well, that's a large system. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking 70 panels. Uh, he said, well, that's a system size that I want. Give me the price for that. So I asked him if I could take a look at his light bill. He tells me, you know what? No, I obviously know how to read homeowners. So I took it as, you know, hey, we're not going to manipulate the pricing based on what you're paying. If you like, I'll show you what the investment of 2,500 kilowatts monthly production is for you. And then from there, we'll evaluate your light bill to see if that's the right fit for you. Fair enough. He said it was, obviously. So I showed him the system investment of a 2,500 kilowatt production system. And then we did his bill evaluation. From there, we determined that his consumption was only about 2,100 kilowatts and only needed 55 panels. He tells me, David, I appreciate that, but I still want that 2,500 kilowatts to cover what I use in the summer. I explained to him, hey, you know what? They're not going to send you physical money for your overproduction, but if you're comfortable with oversizing your system for future consumption, that's okay. I also had another homeowner that when they purchased their home for the first time, it was a brand new construction. They decided to go with a starter pack system of 18 panels. So therefore, with them, they took a proactive approach. They knew exactly how much energy they were going to get yearly with the solar system and if they needed any extra surplus from that they're going to purchase it from the utility company because it's a plug and play system you can always add more panels and increase the system size if needed i had another homeowner that tells me hey my budget is thirty thousand dollars so i asked him is that before or after your tax credit he tells me i haven't considered that i told him okay well let's put your light bill to the side and i'll show you both the investment of 30k before and post tax credit and see what that works for you. So we did exactly that. So it turned out I was the cheapest company out of the four that he met with for his, that budget of $30,000. From there, I told him, okay, well, you know what? We still don't know if this is the size system that you need. Can we go ahead and perform a bill evaluation? So we did it just that. After reviewing his light bill, we determined he actually needed a 44 panel system, which was about 12 panels more than what the other guys were recommending. Obviously it's more investment. But he understood why he needed that size system compared to the other size systems that they were recommending. So obviously he decided to go with us because of that. So as long as you have a clear understanding of your utility company's net metering rules, the system equipment and the warranty that you're going with, that will help you determine and have a better understanding of how much is solar for your home. Now the other question is how long does it take to get a return on my investment? On average here in Texas is seven to eight years depending on the price per kilowatt. When I first started, rates were on average nine to about 11 cents. The last three years was about 11 to 13 cents. And now I'm seeing between 14 and 16 cents with everything factored in. Now I can only imagine what it will be like in the next five, 10 and 15 years. And that's why solar in the greater Houston area has more than double. Homeowners are taking a proactive approach. Now here in Texas, obviously we're used to cheap energy being an oil state that it took a little longer for product awareness for homeowners to take advantage of the incentives and tax credits that are out there to help them offset the investment costs of going solar. But realistically, when you look at the price of solar energy, it's about seven to eight cents a kilowatt. So if someone was to tell you, hey, lock in this rate at seven or eight cents a kilowatt for the next 25 years at this preset amount with no prepayment penalties on the payment factor that fits your budget and your terms with the money that you're already accustomed to spending. Therefore, you're saving that money every year and reallocating that back into your solar system until you reach the end point. It's a no brainer. So uh, that's why you need a solar evaluation. And that's why people need to know a little bit more in order to tell you how much is solar. So I hope this answered your questions, guys. I look forward to making more videos just like this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Leave them in the comment section. I look forward to reading them. Until next time, stay shining. You've been listening to the Let's Talk Solar podcast. Join us every Tuesday for the latest news in the solar world and join in on the conversation. Be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up on iTunes, Google Play, or YouTube to get new, fresh weekly episodes. For more, please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Let's Talk Solar Houston.
Until next time, shine on.